Manga Wido. You! You gambled with our savings?! It's not what you think. You need to listen to me. No, I won't! We're getting divorced! No! I'm Mayumi Takahashi. This is my husband, Kazuya. We were in the middle of a marriage crisis. I met Kazuya when I was in college. We got together steadily after that and got married at the age of 26. At the beginning of our marriage, we were very close and he asked me to join his family after marriage. So I quit my job and became a full-time housewife. We were very close in the beginning of our marriage and I thought it would last forever. When our son Naoto was born, Kazuya's attitude gradually changed. <coughs> Kazuya, hold Naruto in your arms. No, you won't stop crying even if I do that. Then, could you wash the dishes? I'll take care of Naruto. Huh? Fine. I'm tired from work too, you know. It seemed that Kazuya was transferred to a busy department a little after Naoto was born. And at home he always says, I'm resting up for work, and lounges around all the time. He did almost nothing to take care of the child, let alone do any housework. My parents-in-law are not able to help me because of their health problems. Kazuya worked overtime and never came home, so I was taking care of the child all by myself. Hey, Kazuya? Can I go to the hair salon this weekend? It's about time. I want you to watch Naoto for two hours. What? No way! How come? Because I don't know how to make milk! And I can't change a diaper! I've taught you how to do it before! You don't need to go to the salon in the first place, do you? What? You're a housewife! You don't have anywhere to go! It's pointless to keep your appearance clean! But I have to go shopping and to the hospital all the time, you know? And I need some alone time once in a while to relax, or else my body won't be able to take it. What? You're relaxing every day, aren't you? A housewife is basically like being unemployed. What? What are you talking about? I'm busy taking care of Naoto and doing housework every day. Oh, shut up. That's enough. Where are you going? Where does it matter? I'm going outside. If I stay at home, I'll have to listen to you. Wait. Kazuya went out without listening to me and didn't come back until midnight. After that, Kazuya went out every weekend. Thanks to that, I had to take care of my child alone every single day. When Naoto became one year old and started to talk, Kazuya didn't play with him at all and continued to go out selfishly and come home late. He used to be so kind. Why did he become like this? Then, one day, I received a phone call from my mother-in-law. She told me that my father-in-law had been hit by a car. I'm at the hospital, but I'm worried all by myself. Can you come over? Yes, I'll call Kazuya too. Please do. I called immediately, but Kazuya didn't answer. No matter how many times I called, I had no choice but to call the office and a colleague answered. My father-in-law was in an accident. What? That's terrible! I would like you to tell Kazuya to go to Manuel Hospital. I'm sorry to bother you when you are all busy working overtime, but... Overtime? We're on our way home now. Takahashi already left, too. What? Apparently, he's only had overtime a few times this month. And he's gone home on time. Almost every day. After that, Kazuya did not answer the phone no matter how many times I called him. So I went to the hospital with Naoto in the end. Fortunately, my father-in-law's injuries were not serious, and he was told that he could leave the hospital tomorrow. And I was relieved about that. Kazuya, what on earth are you doing lying about working overtime? Late at night, I questioned Kazuya who came home quietly. Your coworker told me! You lied about working overtime! What are you doing every day? Ah, uh, I guess I've been caught. What's with that attitude? You always nag me to babysit when I come home, so I was killing time at a pachinko parlor. What? Look, I'm the breadwinner of this family, and I'm earning money for you guys. Why can't I take a little time off? But I don't have time to relax. Always home by myself and... I'm tired of hearing that! I'm supposed to earn money! You're supposed to take care of the house and raise the kids! It's a division of labor, so don't complain! I tried to refute him, 
But Kazuya's argument didn't change after that. On the contrary, he started going out drinking and playing pachinko, as if it was a convenient thing I found out. Even after Naoto turned two, Kazuya's behavior did not change. And he came home late, at night, almost every day. That's enough! If you have money to spend on pachinko, save it for Naoto! It's not your business what I do with the money I earned! But it's the family money, right? We need to save for emergencies, or Naoto's school tuition! Huh? Are you telling me you're going to interfere with what I do?! My husband won't understand me, no matter what I said, and just keeps yelling. In the end... If you want to save money, why don't you work? Well, I guess there's no place that would hire a housewife with no merit nowadays. And he even looked out on me like that. I was at the end of my patience. If you're going to say that much, let's do it then. I started working as an office worker at a nearby company while Naoto was at kindergarten. This alone allowed me to earn about 70,000 yen a month. Then, when Kazuya found my pay stubs... Since you're earning money, don't spend any of my money except on food. What is that? If you're working too, it's only natural, isn't it? Fine. We'll set aside a certain amount to put in the family budget. And we can spend the rest however we want. Yeah, fine. I was annoyed with Kazuya, who said, You're not much after all, only earning this little. But I was grateful to have the money to spend with dignity. I worked hard and tried to save up. And one day, when Naoto was getting used to kindergarten, and we were getting used to our current lifestyle... Stop! Don't tell Mayumi! No, I can't take it anymore. If you won't pay, I'll get Mayumi to. Wait a minute! I heard that at the front door, and when I went there, I found Kazuya and his college seminar buddy, Sugita-kun, standing there. <laughs> Sugita-kun! Long time no see! What happened? Oh, Mayumi. Long time no see. Well, this guy hasn't paid me back yet. What? Kazuya? You were borrowing money from Sugita-kun? When I asked him about it, he said he borrowed money several times when he lost at gambling. The amount was over 200,000 yen! I'm sorry! I didn't know! No, no, no. As long as he pays me back, it's okay. Hold on a second. I'll go to the convenience store and drop it off. What?! You don't have that kind of money, do you?! Just wait a second. I ran to the convenience store to withdraw money. After that, I gave the money to Sikida-kun. Apologizing, who was waiting. Sigida-kun was not angry, but rather sympathized with me, saying, Mayumi, you're having a hard time too. Ugh, <sighs> my husband is pathetic. Anyway, I'm glad we were able to repay the loan. I entered the house relieved, but waiting for me was Kazuya, who was furious. Why do you have that much money? What? The money you gave him! Why do you have that much money? There's no way you can have that kind of money with only a part-time salary! There's nothing wrong about it. I'm only making money part-time. I'm also making money investing in Forex and penny stocks. Yes, in fact, I saved the money I earned from my part-time job and started investing. I originally worked at a financial institution, so I had the basic knowledge. And I read books and research on the internet, and as a result of challenging myself with the pocket money I had, it worked out better than expected, and I was able to save money which wouldn't have been possible with just a part-time job. When I told Kazuya about it, he was furious for some reason. You... you gambled with our savings?! It's a misunderstanding! You need to listen to me! No, I won't! We're getting a divorce! I saved the money from my part-time job, it's my money! You couldn't have made that much money on your part-time job! You must have used my money secretly! I showed him the bank book, since he didn't seem to understand my verbal explanation. You see? This is all the money I earned. I didn't transfer any money from your account. I proved to him that I didn't, but... You're investing without telling me? And Forex? I don't mind if it's stocks, but that's gambling! I'm not gambling. Even Forex is a proper investment. I mean, you play pachinko. Pachinko is gambling. Shut up! You're not supposed to keep your earnings a secret from me in the first place as a married couple! I won't allow it! We're getting a divorce! 
Apparently, Kazuha was furious that I made more money than he did on my own. No matter what I said, he wouldn't listen to me and kept repeating, We're getting a divorce. Ugh. If you insist that much, let's get a divorce. <laughs> you should have said that from the beginning! I'm taking Naoto with me, though. Suit yourself! Naoto? You're going to live with Mommy and Grandpa, okay? Sure! I love Grandpa's house! I don't like Dad for schooling Mom. Take Naoto and get out of here! I don't want to see your face ever again! We then began proceedings for a divorce. I was rather relieved to think that I could go back to my parents' home, as I had no more love and no more desire to be married to Kazuya, whose love had also dried up. And three weeks later, I told my parents about the situation and got their approval. And when I was ready for divorce to some extent, Kazuya suddenly said this. I'll make sure you give me your share of what you earn from your investments. You want me to split my savings? Yeah, that's right. Money earned during the marriage is joint property for the couple. Isn't that right? Fine, I said with a smile. Disgusted at the extent of his obstinacy. I'll split what I made in Forex. Well, I'm sure it'll be offset by the alimony I'm claiming from you. Huh? Alimony? You're cheating on me, aren't you? You... What kind of baseless thing are you saying? I approve. Sugida-kun told me. Yes, Sugida-kun, who came that day asking for the money he lent, called me the next day and said, I forgot to tell you yesterday, Mayumi. Kazuya's secret doesn't end with gambling. And he told me that Kazuya was cheating on me. His partner is Lisa, the prettiest girl in the seminar. What? I just happened to see them coming out of the Love Hotel, arm in arm. No way. After that, I asked a detective to investigate, and he found out that Tsugeta-kun's story was true. Here, this is the evidence. No way! The money I earned from my investments will be properly divided as our shared assets. But you need to pay what you owe too! No! My plan! In the end, I received alimony which increased my income and expenditure. Of course, I had the adulterer pay for alimony as well. By the way, after the divorce, Kazuya also seemed to have gone into investing. He probably thought, if she could do it, I can do it too. It seemed to work for a moment, but it failed soon after. He even went to the trouble of calling my parents' house to cry because I blocked his calls. I'm having a hard time paying off my debt! Can you at least lend me some money for the interest? Nope. I'm not a good-natured person who pays other people's debts. Don't ever call me again. After that, Kazuya could not repay his debt. Or perhaps he disappeared from work and ran away from his home, and no one knows where he is. Maybe he's catching crabs in the Northern Sea. Naoto and I are still living at my parents' house. I work full-time with the help of my parents, and my life is going well. My investments are going well. And we're living without any money problems at the moment. No key! Let's have ice cream with Grandma afterwards. My parents love him, and he seems happy. From now on, I would like to protect the peaceful life with Naoto and my parents. 